Um, my name is David Jenkins and I'm actually a cardiothoracic surgeon rather than a physician. I work at the Royal Papworth Hospital in Cambridge in, in the UK and my interest in pulmonary hypertension has arisen through doing major operations on patients with pulmonary hypertension and that covers the, the whole field of pulmonary hypertension from heart surgery in group 2 patients to transplantation for, for all patients but my real interest in pulmonary hypertension developed when I started doing the pulmonary endarterectomy operation for patients with chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. And in my career so far over the last 15 years, I've seen such real advances in the outcome for these patients. It's been a very exciting time. Unlike many of the other members of the group, I'm actually a cardiothoracic surgeon, and so my interest in pulmonary hypertension has arisen from treating the most severe form um, by operations. So as a cardiac surgeon, um, I see patients with, with group two disease and as a, a transplant surgeon, I see patients from group one and group three. Um, but my real interest has arisen through treating patients in group four with chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. And I started doing this operation in 2002, the pulmonary endarterectomy operation. And that's what really has led my interest in pulmonary hypertension. I think the new association is a real opportunity, bringing together a much wider field of people from basic scientists, physicians, surgeons, um, to, to really um, challenge the, the future of um, research and clinical practice in pulmonary hypertension. Well, for me personally, uh, as I mentioned, as a surgeon, I've been mainly interested in group four patients with chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. And I think for that group, in the last 10 years, we've seen major advances. And I would say that's the most treatable form of pulmonary hypertension. And I think with now three treatments available, surgery, balloon angioplasty, and new drug treatments, we're really making major advances in that field and I hope for the other groups there'll be similar improvements in patient outcomes in the next 10 years. So I, I suppose looking back I've been extremely fortunate in that I, I started doing this difficult technical operation and got interested that way but I've been extremely fortunate to join the pulmonary hypertension group led by um, Dr. Joanna Papkezaba at Royal Papworth Hospital at an extremely exciting time in developments and treatments for pulmonary hypertension. So I've been very fortunate looking back to be introduced to this, this new world of pulmonary hypertension.